Good morning, grade 6 learners. Welcome to our science class. Today, I will read how the different organ system works together. Humans are considered as the most complex living things because we are composed of different organ system. Each part of the body system does a special job as it coordinates with another to perform specific functions. This specific task carried out by the body enable us to grow, breathe, move, and carry an activities such as dancing, jumping, and testing. Different major organs of the body work together to keep our body alive and produce different movements with specific functions and coordinations yielding desired results. The following are the body system and their specific function. Number one, the musculoskeletal system. The musculoskeletal system provides support to the body and enables the body to produce movements. Bones in the body or the skeletal system, the muscles or the muscular system, the cartilages, the tendons, ligaments, joints, and other connective tissues that supports and bind tissues and organs together comprise the musculoskeletal system. The muscular system. All muscles in the body make up the skeletal system which allows us to move. This consists of the three types of muscles, the cardiac muscles that controls the heart, smooth muscles that controls involuntary movement of the digestive tract, blood vessels and bladder, and the skeletal muscles which are voluntary muscles that controls the movements of bone. Skeletal system. All the bones in the body make up the skeletal system which protects internal organs and support the body. It also produces millions of blood cells needed by the body. Number two, the integumentary system. The integumentary system serves as body covering that provides protection to our body against microorganisms, temperature, and act as receptor for touch. The skin is composed of tough skin cells and tough protein called keratin that protects tissues, organs, and other structure underneath the skin against physical damage from minor cuts. Number three, digestive system. Digestive system works in digesting food into substances that can be absorbed by the body. Digestion begins in the mouth by breaking food by means of cutting, tearing, and grinding known as mechanical digestion. The breakdown of food into smaller molecules by enzymes found in the digestive system is known as chemical digestion. Final digestion of food and absorption of nutrients takes place in the small intestine. Number 4. Respiratory System Respiratory system is responsible for the exchange of gases such as carbon dioxide to oxygen in the bloodstream. Respiratory process starts from the nostril, pharynx, to the trachea, into the bronchi, and to the lungs. Number 5. Circulatory System Circulatory system is a transport system of the body responsible for the distribution of nutrients to the cells and carries away the waste product of the cells. The heart is the vital organ in the circulatory system that pumps blood to all body parts. 
The blood vessels are the railway station of the blood which enables blood to reach different parts of the body. Blood is another component of the circulatory system as it circulates to all parts of the body and it transports oxygen from the lungs to the cells and carries the waste material from the cells. Number 6. Nervous System The nervous system is the control unit of the body. Thus, it regulates and coordinates body processes. It has two major divisions, the central nervous system or the CNS composed of brain and spinal cord and the peripheral nervous system or the PNS consists mainly of nerves that connects the CNS with the rest of the body. Its major parts are the brain, spinal cord, and the neurons or the nerve cell. Brain is the control unit of the body as it interprets messages, makes judgment, interprets sensations, and think creatively. The spinal cord is a cord-like material encased in a spinal column that links between the brain and the PNS. It is also responsible for the reflex action or an instantaneous movement that protects the body from harm. The neurons or the nerve cells are the working unit of the nervous system as they transmit information to the nerve cells, muscles, or gland cells. I hope you learn a lot in our discussion. Continue answering the different activities in our module. Good luck and take care always because God loves us all. See you again on the next video lesson. Once again kids, that ends our learning for today.